Have you ever wanted to try a look that costs half the price of one palette but looks just like you use the palette? Well, just stick around with me as we try to duplicate ABH's Elvis Edwards palette. I didn't buy the ABH Elvis Edwards palette, but if I had, let me show you what I could do to dupe that palette with something half the price from Carity. A Carity 21 shade all matte collection. I have come up with this look, which is something that I would have done had I had the ABH Alyssa Edwards palette and show you how to duplicate looks using palettes yourself. So if you wanna see how I got this using this and not ABH, you just keep on watching. So I do have the Carity all matte palette. And I feel like there are several colors in here that are very similar to ABH. This palette cost me $25. Yeah, all of Anastasia's palettes are $43. I think that one might've been 45, I can't remember. And Carity, here she is. I wanted to get a substitute of something that I feel like from what I've seen on Instagram is a good product, but we're about to find out. So I'm going to do a look I'm a little nervous about, try to duplicate what I could have done with the ABH Alyssa Edwards palette had I spent my money on that. So I'm gonna start off with this dark purple shade Ego. Okay, and I'm going to get a very, very tiny crease brush. In this case, it will be my Morphe M431. And I'm gonna start out just kind of shaping my outer V. I've already primed my eyes, if you can't tell. So, I know I wanna go in this direction to the lower lash line, and I need to start low in the crease because I do have a lot of color I wanna put in here. And now I'm just going to pack the color, mostly in this outer V. Now what I'm doing is I'm packing in the outer corner and then dragging to the inner, I want most of the dark pigment to adhere to the outer portion of the eye to give it that, that depth. I don't wanna carry the same level of pigment to the inner portion of my eye. Okay, now I'm gonna take a clean brush. This one's from Kala, and it's a little bit bigger in shape, and I'm just gonna be blending the edges to try to soften up and kind of blow out the the pigment so it doesn't just look so dense. I'm not as impressed off the bat with the pigment in this shadow. I did have to build and build and build and build off camera to get this dark color. However, I do know that purple eyeshadows are the hardest for some reason to create and get right. So I'm hoping because this is the only shade that I've tried so far that I will have more luck in the next subsequent shades that I work with. Because I do not think I'm getting the depth that I want, I am gonna steal some Rowdy from Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. Yeah, it's just a little bit, it's almost a black. Okay, I went ahead and started doing color on the other eye so we don't have to sit here forever and I can go ahead and discuss what I'm doing. Next, I'm going to the hot pink shade Lumbia. Um, in the ABH palette, it is called Texas Made. So this is what my Texas Made is gonna be, Lumbia. And I am just going to very gently set it on the edges of Ego. And I'm kinda gonna create an outer V shape with this pink. Already, this shadow has much more pigment, I feel like, than the purple did. Barely touching my skin, and the hot pink is definitely coming through. So, Carity has some work to do with their purples, but the pink so far is performing to what my expectations were. I'm just pressing this color in. I don't want to blend it too far out because I've got another color to add. some of the purple, going back with my Morphe M431. And now I finally have enough pigment laid down that I can just use blending motions. The corners of my eye are already starting to water and it is freaking me out because I feel like it's gonna wipe off before I finish. Oh yeah, I've already taken some off. I'll fix it off camera. Really, I need to just stay away 
with my lower lash line at the moment until it dries. It's the microscopic particles of eyeshadow that get into it that irritate my eyes. So right now I'm just alternating between the hot pink and the purple to get that perfect gradient effect between the two colors. Next, I'm gonna go on with Tweety Bird. It's not Tweety Bird, it's just Tweety, this bright yellow. I don't know what the shade is in Texas Made that that's that bright yellow, but I'm gonna use this e.l.f. eyeshadow brush because it's kind of flat, so I can concentrate it and coat both sides of it because I don't know how pigmented this is. The same way I did with the pink on the purple, just press it into the outer edges. yet I feel like this yellow is turning this pink pop pink to look fuchsia. Like you just see this look in your mind's eye with looking at the colors on the pan, but when they combine, it just doesn't quite transpose into what you envision. Not that it's bad, it's just different. And that is the problem with most of my looks, my ideas and what I envision never seem to translate perfectly, which I guess practice makes perfect. And this is very difficult, alternating between the yellow and the pink without getting it muddy. You wanna keep the blend, but you also want to separate the colors. I want to see each of the colors individually with a perfect gradient. And this is just about taking your time. You can't rush looks like this because they're more artistic rather than anything. And the final result is beautiful, but the process takes time. <laughs> Off camera, I have just literally been going back and forth between Ego, the purple, Lumbia, the hot pink, and Tweety, the yellow, just trying to make sure that each color is not lost and yet each color is blended. This obviously is gonna be a much shorter video than what this look is actually going to entail if you do it. So if I were you, watch a step as I do it and then stop the video and blend and build and blend and build and blend and build and you just continue that until you feel like you've got it where you want it. You really have to experiment with a lot of shapes and size brushes to get this done because whereas if I'm doing a typical look where I'm just trying to do like a smoky eye and a cut crease I love my tapered fluffy blending brushes but this is much more precise so I've got like this little pencil brush I usually use just for like inner corner highlight that I'm actually using to blend the crap out of these little lines just so it blends the line and nothing else. I've got these short flat stubby brushes that I've gotten from TJ Maxx and Amazon and they don't really have any real names, but it's a perfect shape to just press and create a natural blend on some pigments without losing the pyramid of color. That is my best advice, is to lay out all of your brushes, look very closely as to their shape and what it is you're trying to do on each step, because it is art. I mean, this is art. You wouldn't paint with only one brush. You'd paint with a myriad of brushes, different sizes, different stipples, different textures to get the desired effect. And that's what you have to do with this. So they don't have to be expensive because I have very few expensive brushes. My most expensive brushes are from Morphe that I got at Ulta, which was splurges for me. Other than that, it's just a lifelong collection of cheaper brushes you can find at TJ Maxx, Target, doesn't matter. Collect them you'll always find a diamond in the rough. As a whole, they might not feel great, but you will always find one that will become your go-to. You may not know a name, you may not know how to repurchase, but I promise you, they each do a different thing. Okay, I'm finally happy with the color as it is. For the lid, they had the royal blue and the ABH palette. This one has two blues. It's got Phantom, which is a navy, and it's got Enchant, which is a sky. And I'm wondering if I blend the two, if I cannot make it look more royal. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and reprime my eye. 
I'm going to do that with my e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. This one's in the shade light peach because it's much lighter than the medium sand that I was using. And I'm gonna grab a tiny, teeny tiny little concealer brush. This one's the Morphe M213. I believe this was only like two or three bucks at Ulta. This was one of my cheaper name brand brush purchases. So nervous because I do not want to mess up all this blending I just did. This will be a very good video if I can pull off this look. plenty of time to recuperate from the trauma. Now I'm going to take the tiniest little brush and I'm going to go back into Rowdy and very gently clean up my crease. brush again from Jackie and Lauren and dip into Tweety and attempt to perfect the gradient. Okay, so another no-name brush. This one's just very flat. I'm going to start off with the shade Phantom, which is this navy color blue and I'm going to marry it with the dark purple that I have in the outer portion of my eye. And now I'm gonna dip into Enchant using the exact same brush. center and I'm pretty sure the ABH Alyssa Edwards palette has a white so this is what I would use instead Definitely not saying this Carity palette is a dupe for the Alyssa Edwards palette because the color schemes are completely different. This one actually has 21 shadows and then the Alyssa Edwards palette has 14. So you get seven more shadows for half the price and with the exception of the unpigmented, difficult to work with purple, I feel like I've done a pretty good job coming up with a look that I could have achieved using the Alyssa Edwards palette. Okay, now I want to build up the blue just a little bit, switching back to the other brush. And I'm just going to focus it on the center of the lid only, blending back so I can darken that up with Phantom before I finally black it out with Rowdy with my Morphe M431. Okay, I've done most of my makeup, and right now I'm gonna take my ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Piggy Bank, this purple, and I'm gonna line it all along my bottom lash line and kind of create this waterproof barrier between my watery eyes and this shadow. Kind of going a little low with it so it has something that eyeshadow can stick on. That 
way I don't have to get dark purple eyeshadow up against my eyelash line and cause even more watering. So I'm just gonna take Lumbia with this little brush and gently stamp underneath the purple and the outer V. hit the ear it's gonna float into my eye and that is where it likes to water the most so I'm just pressing so gently and by the way if you're old like I am putting eye eyeshadow on your lower lash line this low helps disguise your little eye bags and wrinkles so just a little tip want to look younger do some fun eyeshadow for some lashes and liner and we're about done. Top liner I'm just going to use some black Sex Kitten by Tarte. Going very thin because I really want the eyeshadow to be seen not the eyeliner. Alright I'm going to slap on my lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, lashes are on. I've got my finishing touches. I just need to do an inner corner highlight, and I'm going to do that with my Anastasia Aurora Glow Palette. And I've got all kinds of colors in here, and I'm just gonna take my pencil brush and dip into Lyra, which is like this yellow one. And then I'm gonna take my flat brush that I had the white on and I'm going to dip into Luna and I'm just going to put that right over my inner color just for extra shimmer. I could also go into Orion which is a blue and go right over the center of my lid. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I would have done with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Alyssa Edwards palette had I purchased it, but because I did not, this is what I was able to come up with with a $25 palette from Carity, the All Matte Collection. So if you like me, you like my channel, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe. Working on better content, I promise I'm trying to work on more in-depth looks and tutorials for you to show you how to do what I just did. The more subscribers I get, the better I get, the more quality I can bring, and I truly appreciate all 116 of you I do have. Until next time, stay curvy, stay courteous, and I'll see you in a week. Bye.